Why do we need symmetrical components? Is it to calculate balance faults, to calculate unbalanced faults, or to calculate bolted faults? All right, time's up. Now, it is to calculate unbalanced faults. The fault calculation is made easier by dividing unbalanced faults into symmetrical components. So which conditions should be verified in order to find out whether a set of phasers is symmetrical or not, meaning if it's symmetrical or unsymmetrical. Should we look at equal magnitude? Should we be looking at equal phase angle? Or should we be looking at both? All right, time's up, so we should be looking at both. So the condition of symmetrical phasers is that they are equal in both the magnitude and they are equal in the phase angle. The phase angle meaning uh, there's three phases, right, and then there's 360 degrees. So if we divide that equally, they should be 120 degrees displaced by each other. What sequence should be followed by phasers in order to assure symmetry? Should they be A, B, C? Should A, C, B? Or can they be both? Time's up. Well, they can be both. Uh, any of the sequences that is ABC or ACB can show symmetry of the phasers, right? As long as the previous uh, condition holds, that they're equal in magnitude and then the phase angles, A and B and C, are displaced 120 degrees by each other. All right, next question is, what is the difference between ABC system and ACB system? Is it there's a difference in the phase sequence? Is it the phaser magnitudes are different, or is it the phase angles are different? Time's up. It's the phase sequence. ABC and ACB sequences have the same magnitude and the phase angle. The only difference is the phase sequence, meaning, you know, one is ABC versus one is ACB. So the only difference is just the sequencing of it. Okay, how many symmetrical components are generated from a single set of unbalanced phasers? Is it one, is it three, or is it six? Okay, time's up, it is three. So normally, three sets of symmetrical components, that is the positive, that the negative, and the zero sequence, are generated from a single set of unbalanced phasers. If there is no ground present or the fault generated has no ground involved, then there would be only the positive and negative sequence. What would be the resultant when we add all three symmetrical components respectively? Is it that we get a balanced set of phasers? Is it the original unbalanced set of phasers? Or we get a different set of phasers, right? We're talking about the positive, negative, and zero sequence components. All right, time's up. It's the original unbalanced set of phasers. So the sum of all three symmetrical component is equal to the original unbalanced set of phasers. How many symmetrical components are generated from a single set of balanced phasers? Is it one, is it three, or is it six? Okay, time's up. It's one. So balance phasers only have a positive sequence component. Negative and zero sequence components occur only in unbalanced phasers. So when you have a balanced set, you should only have a positive sequence component. All right, next question is, why do we need the A operator for symmetrical components? Is it to define all phasers in terms of one, meaning to uh, define all phasers in terms of, you know, IA versus IB versus IC? Is it to present in the formula? Or is it uh, no particular reason at all? All right, time's up. Define all phasers in terms of one. Now, what do we mean by that? What we mean here is that the A operator replaces the constant A, uh, one at the angle of 120 degrees as a phasor 
which defines all phasors in one and makes the equation simpler for calculation purposes, right? What we said earlier was that, you know, we need to, uh, the A operator just makes the simplification so that we can take IA, for example, and represent uh, IB and IC in terms of IA. It's to define all phasors in terms of a single phasor. Okay, so is the A operator sequence specific? Meaning, is it different from ABC and ACB phase sequence? Uh, yes, in all cases. B, in some cases. Or no, it's not uh, specific at all. All right, time's up. So it is yes in all cases. So the A operator is independent of the sequence as it is a constant. And we could uh, we could just utilize it as we see fit and it does not depend on whether we have a system that's ABC versus an ACB phase system. What is the benefit of using the A operator? Is it to decrease the number of variables in the system? Is it to reduce the equation complexity? Or is it both? Okay, time's up. It is both. The A operator places the constant 1 at the angle of 120 degrees. It decreases the number of variable and reduces the equation complexity, as we mentioned before. Hi, I hope you enjoyed this video and found it useful. Comment below and subscribe to our YouTube channel so you can get updates on whenever we post new content. Thank you and see you next time.